What's going on guys? This is Gene Jensen from the YouTube channel Fluke Master, and I want to introduce you to the Power 129 Kayak from Bonafide Fishing. All right, so let's just dive right on in. Up in the front of this kayak, you'll notice that I have a bow mounted motor and this kayak is designed for motors. Whether you want bow mounted or stern mounted, it's up to you. But if you're one of those guys who are like, yeah, I wanna buy a kayak and maybe further down the road be able to put a motor on it, this one's perfect because it paddles well. It is a really, really nice paddling kayak. So if you wanna, if you wanna wait a little bit, go right ahead. Now, back to the kayak, underneath, You'll notice we have a mounting plate. This is actually a bona fide mounting plate, and it's designed to be able to put and mount the motor onto your kayak without drilling holes into the hole of the boat. And that is a, a, one of the key design features of this kayak is be able to, to rig it up as much as you want to without drilling holes. And so what we've done is right behind there, we have a thing that is called a power link plate. These are throughout the boat. And what we're able to do is we're able to drill and, and put in plugs and switches and things like that without messing up the kayak. And if you mess up one of these plates, you just get another one, put it on there and start over. Pretty simple. Or if you want to change something further down the road, same thing. Behind that, you'll notice we have some rod tip holders. Slide your rod in, protect your tip, run that rod all the way back beside your seat where you get these little hooks right here. You'll be able to, to strap your rod down and you can go. The hatch, I'm talking about a ton of space in this hatch. When I opened it up, I was like, all right, I'm trying to figure out everything that I need to, that I can put in here. And it will fit a 100 amp hour battery. It'll fit a 60 amp hour battery. It'll fit any kayak battery that you want to put in there with room to spare. You can slide rods in there. You can slide any gear, camping gear. There's just tons of space. On top of the hatch lid, you'll notice that there's a place to put your catch board for those of us who fish tournaments. Slides right in, locks right in. I actually have started to trailer it this way so I don't have to take it out and put it in my truck. Right alongside that, you see these little grooves right here to be able to, to stage your rods. It's a bullwinkle. Remember the old bullwinkle from those of us who were from years ago in kayaks? It's exactly what that is. Behind that, there's another power link plate. And this one I have, what I have plugged into it is my fish finders and is also I've got a USB plug to be able to put my cameras and power my cameras while I'm filming. Then your dry pod. Now the dry pod is a, a place to be able to store a little bit of gear, but the main thing it's, it's for is to be able to mount a transducer to the bottom. So if you have a side scan transducer, you want it to be able to, to get the best efficiency out of it, you mount it to the bottom of that dry pod. But there's a lot of guys who don't want the dry pod and there is now a delete plate to be able to drop down in there, screw it in, no problem, get rid of that dry pod. In the cockpit, you'll notice we have some steering pedals. And to me, I feel like this is the most important feature, at least in my mind, of this whole kayak besides the motors. What the pedals, the steering pedals do, is they allow you to steer hands-free, which means you can fish and steer and work your way along the bank and work your way around docks and around things and position your boat to be able to get the most cast in during the day. And casting efficiency is what means you catch more fish. So the more, more cast you make, the more fish you present your lure to, or the more fish you catch throughout the day. And it's just a huge advantage to be able to steer without having to reach down. All right, now further down, you notice there's plenty of places to be able to put yak attack lock and load bases. This right here in particular is perfect for your forward-facing sonar pole or any of the throttle or anything for your stern mounted motors. Underneath it, you'll notice there's a place to be able to store your, uh, your paddle and some really good heavy duty side carrying handles. Now what we've done here is we've gotten rid of the, the, the big seat lock or seat locking mechanism that was on the, the SS-127 and we've gone to these really cool, very simple seat locks that lock your seat in perfect. All you gotta do is rotate them makes it real easy to remove your seat, to put it in, to lock it down, to change it to a, to a low position, anything like that. And that frees up a ton of space alongside the seat. So there's a spot on the right, on the right side for a 3600 box. So anything you're gonna need immediately, like terminal tackle or anything else, can go right there. The seat itself is two inches wider than the high-rise seat, so it's, it's got more room for us big butt people. It sits about an inch, inch and a half higher off of the deck. And so it, you're able to stand up and sit down a whole lot easier, which makes it a lot better when you're like standing up, you hook a fish, you don't want to flop down and lose tension on that fish. You're able to, with that high seat, you're able to sit down really easy and not lose your fish. If we lift up the seat, you look underneath it, 
We've got the junk drawer, which is one thing they kept from the SS series, which I'm very happy about. And then you'll see two more power link plates. This one on the left side of the seat is for your switches or anything else to be able to turn your electronics on and off. And the one behind it is, is either for being able to access the, the hole when you're running wire. And what I've done is I've actually put a USB plug to be able to power my, my cameras and stuff. You could also run your power out to your battery, which is the next thing behind the seat is there's room for a 100 amp hour battery with a tie down strap to be able to strap that battery into your kayak. Got flush mounted rod holders and I've removed one of them and, and made that a plug. And then you've got the huge tank well in the back. You can put a ton of stuff back here, two black packs, all kinds of gear, anything you want. And I am the king of gear, so I've got tons of stuff back here. And then you've got one more power link plate in the back to be able to run more cords and plugs and power into whatever you have back there. And then if you look alongside the, the tank well, we've got a, a gear track and that gear track allow, allows us to be able to mount the sidekick gear cart to the side of, or kayak cart to the side of your kayak. And you guys have seen them, you just drop the wheels down and you roll them away. And, and it's so nice for those of you who, who throw your kayak in the back of your truck to be able to, to use that to get down to the water. They're just really, really nice thing to have. Further back, I want you to look back here in the back of the kayak and see all of the holes that you have for mounting. You can mount a power pole in the middle or two power poles, one on each side. You can put a motor mount back here to put your, your stern mounted motor. There's just tons and tons of possibilities back here with just this hole configuration. And if you look down below the kayak, you'll see the rudder. And what, what we've done here is we've made a molded area underneath here where that rudder can be stowed and tucked in out of the way so you don't break it. And so you just basically just stow that, that rudder, you can drag it across the ground or you can go up over top of stumps and you don't have to worry about breaking your rudder. But guys, that is the PWR or the Power 129 from Bodified Kayaks. It, I, to say I'm excited is an understatement. This thing is going to be so much fun to fish out of. And I know that if you jump in one, try one out, or if you just go ahead and get one and go out, you're going to love this kayak. It's a Bonafide Power 129 from Bonafide Fishing. <laughs>